Alright guys, this is still the uh, rebuild for the Mercedes C C230 W203 1.8 It's a 2004 So, the last thing I showed you was getting this piece off and I said I could put this puller on here and I could get it off. Now if yours isn't really extremely hard to get off then this puller can do it but as you can see here it only attaches about a quarter of the way and I didn't want to attach it to the end of here because this is like a weak part I didn't know how much force I could put on it and I'm not I wasn't sure if that would bend because anything that bends you're gonna get wobble like crazy so I put it over here and I turned it of course and it came right off all right a couple of turns it it came right off and I also marked you know I marked this and I marked this but I'm not sure if that has to be marked or not so this is what it looks like I don't feel any ridges in here or anything like that, so <clears throat> I guess it's still pretty good. Um, now, the seal. Okay, so this is how I got the seal off. I took the screwdriver, and you, you can't get under it right away when you first hit it, but you put the screwdriver like this, and you 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 hit it just a little bit don't smash it in you don't have to dent it all the way in just a little bit now do that all the way around keep tapping it all right all the way around and then put the screwdriver underneath it and the seal should come off <coughs> sorry i'm in this garage and dusty in here so here is the seal. Don't see a number on there, but there could be. No, I don't see a number on here. I guess this one doesn't have a number. I guess it don't have a number, but I'll let you know what it is tomorrow, if it fits. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about the kit that I'm getting to rebuild this, because you know, if I can't find the bearings, how did they find the bearings? That's what I want to know. So I don't know what this is. I, it, I, this could be part. I guess this is part of the bearing. There's this piece here. Uh, am I supposed to hit this? I don't know. I could try tapping it with the end of this hammer. I got a rag underneath there. It's inside, plus the cardboard. But I don't think this is going to go down. I don't think it's going down. It... How could that how could that be that tight? <clears throat> All right, so that's the next problem. I think this one is going to be a big problem. because I don't know of any way to compress that down there's nothing to grip onto really I mean 
there is but it's not even like this side this side might break plus it's slanted this side has hardly anything here yeah I don't know I don't know if I could you know hit that thing if they put something on here yeah you, know, you might have to put something on here when you put this back together because it when it was coming up it felt a little bit like gooey maybe some pipe thread stuff or something I, I don't know I mean you can't put anything you want on there yeah it might mix with the oil or something and some of that stuff I think might even be grainy you know, I remember using something like that. Um, so, anyway, this is going to be a problem. You know, these are really smooth and there's, there's nothing wrong with these. I probably, I pulled this out and in and tried to shake it back and forth. It feels really smooth. I, I I really I would just love to just replace those two bearings on there and the seals and put it back together because this thing is where the trouble starts because of that crush collar or crush washer uh, that's one problem getting this out is another getting it back in that's another that's another problem so I wish I knew if these were good. I mean, it they sound good, and it's still like got a good torque to it. Like, see, you can't you can't move it until you, know, you actually go with it a little bit. So anyway, uh, I gotta make sure I clean out all this metal because you know I drilled and the metal. You know, it went in there. Like here's a piece here. So, but there was no metal in in this uh, uh, differential. You know, in some of my videos, I I hope I don't call this a transmission, because sometimes I, I want to call it a transmission. It looks like a little tranny. All right, so that's about it. Tomorrow I'll get back to you and um, I'll see what happens with this, but. Seems very tight. Alright, talk to you later.